the choice of wheels and tyres, without question, is going to be the most difficult of all of the decisions I'm going to make with this build. It comes with a 95 profile 225 tyre. They're Bridgestones and they're awful. It comes with a 6 inch steel rim, which I actually quite like. But they're 6 inches wide and that limits me. I'm Andrew St. Pierre White. Join me as I share my passion for building four wheel drive trucks and travelling to the remotest parts of the world. These videos are made possible by contributions from Patreons. Join the Patreon family now. So to help me make the decision, I've come to my local uh, tire fitment place, which is City Discount in Joondalup. They're a great bunch of guys. They always help me out when I want to do this kind of thing. They put time aside for me and they've done so today. So I'm going to start shopping around some tires and rims and get an idea. And I kind of have made my final decision, but let's work our way to it. And I'm going to start off with choice of wheel rim brand new. I'm in the fortunate position that I actually did a test a couple of weeks ago with a client, an autograph overland troop carrier, where I organized some really, really nice rims for him. And I've got his spare, two spares here, and I'm going to trial fit them. Yeah, as much as I like them, I'm not sure if they're going to be right for my troopy because I'm going for a blue with black theme. And I'm not sure if that sheen will really work. It's not contrasty enough, but I really like the shape. So I'm going to have a quick look at the ROH catalog online. And I think I might try something we else. Okay, so we've got rhinos, torques, havoc, crawlers, uh, hammers, assault, and the trophies. But they don't all come with zero offset mm, 8 inch. No, though. they don't. No, so if we start with... They've got something got the else here, they've told me, that I can try. What have they found? <laughs> what have they found? <laughs> they found some ROH hammers. <laughs> we managed to get the, tire, the wheels in, but not the tyres. Well, this, as you say, this is a 12 millimeter offset. So, so negative 12, which means they're going to stick out 12, yes? Yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's a 9 as well, not an 8. So. That'll be oh, interesting. 16 by 9. Yeah. Oh, it's a 9 inch. You can't get those tyres on there. Hmm. 16 by 9. But. You know, I actually prefer the design to this, those. Yeah. 9 inch is not, a, not an option. I can't go 9 inch. I'm, I'm only battling with rims, uh, the width. Um, if they were 7 inch, I wouldn't have a problem. But 9, no. So, uh, my choice is I, I can't go wider. I, uh, I want to go taller and narrower. So that's out. So in the meantime, while I make up my mind, I'm going to fit these clients' rims onto my car. Come from New Zealand. They have a Dunlop road gripper tire, far better than the Bridgestone supplied with uh, 78s delivered in Australia. So I'm just going to swap them out because they're better tires and get my new tires on order. My final rim choice was made with the aid of the ROH website where you can choose a wheel rim, resize it to a picture that I've already taken of the troop carrier, and then place the rims to see what it looks like. And time now to talk about my dilemma of tyre size choice. You would think this is simple, but it's not. I've decided on a rim called a Vapor. What do you reckon? Hey? I think I prefer them to the other ones. Oh, I quite like that actually. I do actually like that. Hey? <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what we're gonna do. The fact is that the choice of rims is really not the difficult part <clears throat> of getting the tires and wheel combination right. This was, this was my problem. Trip carriers come with a 225-95 profile on the 16-inch steel rim. It's a 6-inch wide rim, but they're very narrow. So I need to go to improve performance. I want to go a little bit wider, but I don't want to go too wide. I know from my previous troop carrier that the 285 
75 is just too wide for this car, even though it is a 33 inch diameter. When we uh, re repaired the damage done to the wheel arch uh, in, the, uh, in Victoria Highlands, I, I pulled off part of this by rolling back on a rock. The, uh, the screws that we used to replace stick down a bit and this white tire is hitting them and damaging things so I've got to sort this out now because it's getting worse and worse and the track is getting rougher and rougher so I've got to do something before this actually does permanent damage I don't like white tires I don't think they have any advantage at all that's going to travel they're more of a liability than anything I'm really struggling to find any advantage of wide tyres. So I could stick with 33s by going 25585. And here's the problem with that tyre. I'm only going to be carrying one spare to save weight because that back bumper is really heavy and it's doing one job, allowing me to carry a second spare. That's all it's doing. So I, I can carry a second spare in those, in those really tough um, trails on my roof. Okay, I've got nothing else on the roof, nothing, nothing at all, just that. So I can easily carry an emergency spare on the roof. So, 25585s. If I'm only carrying one spare and occasionally two, if I lose tires and I need to find a replacement, you can't five, find two five five eighty five tires anywhere. They're, they're really difficult to find because not that many people use them, even though I think it's the perfect size for most four wheel drive vehicles. It's the perfect size. It just is. It's not too wide. It's a 33 inch on a 16 inch rim. You cannot get better. So if I, and if I did go th that size, I would go Toyo. Uh, Toyo or BFG, those are the two that I think are probably the best of that size. Unfortunately, Falcon don't, well they do make that size, but they don't import them to, into Australia. Otherwise I would have, well, see, would I? If Falcon had brought in the tire of my choice in that size, would I have fitted them? Maybe, but the problem still remains. What happens if I lose tires out in the bush and I need a spare and I can't find one anywhere? So I'm going for a tire that is 32 inches. Not ideal, but that's my compromise. And it is a very common tire size, 26575. The fact that I am not going to put on a double wheel carrier on the back and therefore not always carry a second spare I want to travel with very strong tyres and therefore mud terrains. So I'll be carrying five mud terrain 26575 on 8 inch width rims. Rims were a problem too. I quite like these ordinary steel rims. I have no problem with them at all. They're easier to repair if you do bash one and dent one. But they're 6 inches wide. I can't fit a 26575 on a 6 inch wide rim, which means they're useless. So I have to find an oil alloy. The only one available that I know of is Toyota's own rim. And I'd like to go some, for something a little more interesting than that. Well, the penalty is I must go 8 inches and fit a 26575 on an 8 inch rim. And it's a little bit wide for that rim. Not a lot wide. We're going to see now as they fit them if they look right so i'm worried that they're going to they're going to sit and they're, they're going to have this shape you don't want this shape you want you want square square is the best shape because it protects the tire <clears throat> and it just that's the best shape for an off-road tire should be squarish so if they're too like this ah then <clears throat> these 18 rims are not going to work for me so i have to make sure so we're going to fit them now and see and, I, and i'll have a look and i just judge my eye whether I think that extra wide rim on that tire is going to expose the tire to damage. So the eight inch rim here is not a penalty. I was concerned that they would be, the tire would be the wrong shape and it isn't. The other part about this is I like the Falcons. I've used them now enough to be able to trust them. What am I looking for a mud tire? I want a mud tire that's going to be strong 
Uh, this has a three ply side wall, which for me is a minimum. Um, I haven't had any issues, I haven't had any punctures. I've run it, been running at various pressures, not extremely low pressures it. because I haven't had extremely low ter um, soft terrain. They, they, they grip well on a gravel road. They grip very well on a tar road. I haven't driven in the wet yet. Most significantly is they're not particularly noisy. I think they're not as noisy as the KM3. I say that though, the KM3 tires that I had on were two 8575s, these are two 6575s, so there was more rubber touching the road with my the KM3s, but my impression is these are quieter. It would be crazy for me to take on a new brand of tire that I've never used and don't know very well. I, 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 Falcons. I'm happy with Falcons. Uh, you need to know that um, Falcon donated the tires to me. I don't believe it would be difficult for me to get tires from any manufacturer donated to the channel. It just makes sense for tire makers to give tires to influencers. I chose them and they came to the party. Thank you, Falcon. Likewise with ROH rims. I could have chosen different rims. There, there are many available for 70 series Land Cruisers. I like the ROH set. Uh, they've served me well. And again, they said to me, you know, when you need rims, Andrew, you give us a call, okay? And that's it, no payment, no money, there's nothing else. I chose the rims and I chose the tires. Thank you so much for watching. These videos are made possible by contributions from Patreons. Join our Patreon family now.